<laughs> in front of a bathroom door. Haha, <laughs> 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 this happened to a friend of mine. Long story short, he and my brother ate a bunch of greasy Mexican food with bottles of soju. My friend woke up to painful stomach cramps, ran to the bathroom but it was locked because my brother was in there waging his own battle. My friend couldn't hold it in any longer and shit himself in his own home pounding on his bathroom door. At a high-end golf course. <laughs> I got it when I was a caddy at a super high-end golf course. Ended up handing my bag to the other caddy and sprinting down two fairways to the bathroom, with explosions in my khaki shorts the whole way. That's what I got for trying a new Mexican restaurant the night before. At a baby shower. <laughs> A family member of mine attended a baby shower in a garage and she had a sore tummy. There was a toilet attached, she went into it and bent over to pull down her pants, the poop squirted out and all over the toilet, wall, and window sill above it. Turns out the wall separating the toilet from where the party is going on was very thin. They heard and smelt everything. Including her trying to clean it up, run out of toilet paper and then just left, because there was no coming back from that. In a rural Mexico where there's only outhouses. <laughs> I was in rural Mexico where there were only outhouses, and I was in a town meeting sort of thing and I had the bubble guts real bad. I have huge shit fright and only take a shit in my house, so I drove several blocks over to my grandma's house to shit and there were two guys working on a truck outside of the outhouse LMAO. I couldn't shit there, so I drove all the way back to where the town meeting was and by then most of the people had cleared out, but there were still a bunch of people and I had no choice. It had to be done. I came out and I knew people were looking at me but the damage was done. I was sweating bullets the whole time clenching my effing ass cheeks driving down dirt road. Working on the line as a chef right when the rush hits. <laughs> Source, had this happen once. I tried to hold it in for as long as I could, but then I had to tell my colleagues that they'd have to do without me for a bit, as I shuffle ran to the restroom. I almost made it. Let's just say I had to work commando the rest of the evening. The Vince Lombardi rest area on the New Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> the Vince Lombardi rest area on the New Jersey Turnpike, before it was rebuilt to look less like it belonged in a ghetto, after eating at Olive Garden and getting the shits. With the door lock broken and the coat hook missing, furiously spewing brown out of my ass while holding up my brand new leather jacket to avoid getting speckles or spray on it, all while in full view of the rest of the bathroom. Even after they remodeled it, I refused to ever stop there again after that incident. I'd rather shit in a latrine with a wolf spider nest inside of it than relive that experience again. At a Home Depot <laughs> I don't know about most horrifying, but I definitely saw someone's diarrhea trail to the bathroom in a Home Depot once. Just had to imagine someone pulling their pants down mid-running to the bathroom. <laughs> On a chartered bus <laughs> I used to be part of a performing group which toured the country using chartered buses. One day after our performance, we went onto the bus and. The smell. Jesus effing Christ, the smell. It was a toss-up which was more overbearing, shit, or Lysol. But it stank. Two of the male performers had decided to sneak away during dinner break, onto the bus to fool around. One of them was a virgin. As they went to seal the deal, he got explosive shit all over their cloth seats, the walls, the windows, and the goddamned AC vents at the bottom of the window. Just everywhere. Despite their effort to clean up, we had to continue to travel and essentially live on the bus for a week until a new one was sent to us. <laughs>